we'll have a, a Christmas reunion, a gathering of the Thorntons. No, that's the last... Now, will you hear me out? This place is big enough for everybody. Okay. Now, don't interrupt me. I know exactly what you're going to say next. It's no good. It won't work if they come out of pity or concern. You'll never be able to resolve your differences with Peggy or Bud. Daddy's dying. Kiss the old SOB and kid him along. Can you imagine Tom at this reunion of yours? Tom has his good points. Ah, it's mother love talking. He's as hard and as stubborn as... A carbon copy. Well, win, lose, or draw, we've had our showdown coming for years. As for Bud, I haven't seen him since we had that stupid blowout right here in this room. It took me two years to realize that I was wrong. Okay, now I know. And if my trip is out, writing a letter of apology or saying a few words into a telephone, well, aren't enough. And if he finds out that I'm, if any of them find out. Let's take it one step at a time. The least touch of pity and this whole thing turns out as phony as, as that music out there. Well, wait a minute. Are you making this gesture for me? For them. For my children. My family. Of which you just happen to be the father. All right? We can try. We can try.